A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of tensions in the Middle East, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin received a warning from Israeli officials regarding imminent military operations in Lebanon. This alarming communication, which took place on Tuesday, has drawn attention to the escalating violence between Israel and Hezbollah, a militant group based in Lebanon. The warning came amid a series of attacks that have left at least 37 people dead, including two children, and injured approximately 3,000 others over just two days. The situation is being closely monitored by U.S. officials, who have expressed concerns that these developments could spiral into a broader regional conflict. The call between Austin and Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant was one of four discussions that occurred this week, indicating a heightened level of communication between the two nations as tensions rise. While the U.S. was informed of the potential for military action, the specifics of the operations were not disclosed. On the same day as the warning, thousands of pagers belonging to Hezbollah militants exploded in what is widely believed to be an Israeli attack, further escalating the situation. U.S. officials, speaking on condition of anonymity, revealed that they were caught off guard by the details of the attacks, particularly the second wave that targeted walkie-talkie radios belonging to Hezbollah on Wednesday. The Pentagon has stressed that the U.S. played no role in these attacks and has not altered its military posture in the region despite the surge in violence. Pentagon spokeswoman Sabrina Singh confirmed the series of calls between Austin and Gallant but did not provide specific timelines. She reiterated the U.S. commitment to supporting Israel against threats from Iran and its proxies, emphasizing the importance of deterring regional adversaries and de-escalating tensions. During their discussions, Austin also highlighted the need for a diplomatic solution that would enable civilians on both sides of the Israel-Lebanon border to return to their homes safely. The situation in Lebanon has drawn attention from the U.S. State Department, which has advised American citizens in the region to maintain a low profile and review their security awareness. While contingency plans for the evacuation of Americans in Lebanon exist, officials have stated there is no immediate need to activate these plans. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby commented on the preparedness of U.S. Navy ships in the Mediterranean, indicating that they are well-positioned to assist if necessary. The recent military actions by Israel appear to be the culmination of a months-long operation aimed at targeting Hezbollah members. However, the civilian casualties resulting from these attacks have raised significant concerns about the impact on innocent lives caught in the crossfire. The U.S. has called for a ceasefire deal that would also address the release of hostages held by Hamas, further complicating the diplomatic landscape in the region. As the situation unfolds, the international community watches closely, wary of the potential for a wider conflict that could destabilize the already volatile region. The calls for de-escalation and diplomatic solutions are echoed by various nations, as the fear of a broader war looms on the horizon. The ongoing violence not only threatens the lives of those directly involved but also poses a risk to regional stability, highlighting the urgent need for dialogue and resolution. The situation in Lebanon is just one facet of a larger tapestry of tensions in the Middle East, where historical grievances, territorial disputes, and ideological divides continue to fuel conflict. The U.S. has long been involved in the region, attempting to balance its support for Israel with the need to engage with other nations and groups. As the dynamics shift, the role of the U.S. in mediating these conflicts will be crucial in determining the future of peace and stability in the region. In conclusion, the warning from Israel to the U.S. Defense Secretary marks a critical juncture in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. The recent attacks and the resulting civilian casualties underscore the urgent need for diplomatic efforts to mitigate the violence and prevent further escalation. As the world watches, the actions taken by the U.S., Israel, and other regional players will significantly impact the trajectory of peace in the Middle East. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.